Hello there. Dear Tir to Mud, Renaik say that the Naked cannot honor you with a visit. Stay out of our way. We have no interest in speaking with a mind shaker. Mind shaker? That's what you call missionaries, and we aren't missionaries. Never mind. The Donegad will not receive you. All right. We'll leave. Halt! In the name of the Enlightened One, present yourself. Sir de Sarday, emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier Fredi. I have come to present my regards to your governor. We have been expecting your visit, Your Excellency. Welcome. May he light your way. Answer me. Why? Why are you doing this? Behold your so-called gods. You are demons. They burn. They are nothing. You shed tears for this creature while your heart should be full of joy. Welcoming the light. <gasps> Get your pagan foul teachings. Embrace the true faith. You are mad. Inquisitor? You. You wear the mark of the impure pagan cult of the natives. I am Inquisitor Aloysius, and by authority of my title, I order you to explain yourself. The mark on my face is by no means impure. You are walking on thin ice and are close to committing a grave diplomatic error. Diplomacy? If the truth of the Enlightened is obscured, then our relations are tainted and of no value. Answer my questions, or receive the punishment reserved for heretics. Do you believe that the God of Light is the one and only God? Diplomacy may seem to you of little import, but I doubt that your governor will be of a similar opinion. Aggression towards an emissary of another nation is an error that could lead to war. You cannot hide from the divinity behind politics. But very well. I leave you in divine hands this time. I shall allow you to continue along your path. I am certain ours will cross again. 
And be aware that wheresoever you wander, you shall be weighed, measured, and judged. You are now under the stern eye of the God of Light. Hope that your underwear is clean. It seems like you do not hold the priests of Teleme in high regard. It's mostly that I do not trust them. They're hot-headed. But you did a good job. Young man. Pardon me. Are you not part of the new governor's entourage? I'm his cousin. And I'm accompanying him on his mission to Tirfredi. What can I do for you, Father? Bishop Petrus, how divinely fortunate this is. Did you know that I had the honor of meeting you at your uncle's court when you were a child? I would never have imagined that you would grow up to resemble the island natives so closely. The island was yet to be discovered. How could you have known? <laughs> you haven't lost your clever little tongue. You were always quite a remarkable young boy. I'm on my way to New Serene as an ambassador to the new governor. Do you think there would be room for me to accompany you? The roads are not truly safe. I must first meet the Mother Cardinal to present my respects on behalf of my cousin. I will accompany you, and then we can take the road together. I'm so happy our paths have crossed once again. Your Eminence, in the name of the Congregation of Merchants, I present my best regards. May the light bless you and accompany you on these grounds with inspired guidance. I thank you. We truly wish that this visit will strengthen the ties between our two nations. I learned that you crossed paths with that of Inquisitor Aloysius. I beseech you to forgive his zealous nature. His faith is absolute. And I congratulate you to have appeased him. Your faith and your diplomatic skills honor you. Another subject brings me as well. The Malachor. The horrible blood plague decimating our peoples. A terrible matter that worries us all and reveals our imperfections and sinful nature. For he would never have allowed such an evil to spread without a deeper reason, a fault. Our theologians are certain that the Malachor is the work of a curse. And we have discovered that this island is home to a cult that venerates willfully a horrifying demon. What a fortuitous coincidence. A practical excuse for sending the Inquisition out to set the island ablaze. We must unearth this cult and tear it out by its sinister, sinful roots. We started to investigate a village not far from here where strange happenings have been reported. I have begun investigations, and I confirm that a demon is certainly active in the area. Alas, the population is very secretive, and we have great difficulty gleaning any useful information. But if the congregation would help us in this matter, in other words, if the Malachor troubles your cousin as much as myself, report to his majesty that the destruction of this pagan cult is the only way to eradicate the plague. And his help in obtaining any information from the natives would be extremely welcomed. Be certain that your message will be transmitted, Mother Cardinal. I look forward to our next encounter. Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sarde, what can I do for you? Tell me about San Mateus. It is still a new city, of course, but it is already the beacon of faith in Tia Fredi. Many Teleme settlers gathered there to walk in the footsteps of our prophet, including, of course, many missionaries and inquisitors. The conversion of the island population being our main concern. Who are the missionaries? It is an order that aims to convert people. 
You must have met some of its followers in Serene. Most of them leave the comfort of Teleme to visit other countries, to spread the good word. This once relatively minor order has become quite significant in recent years, and has established itself in politics in the highest positions of our nation. What can you tell me about the Ordo Luminous? This is our Order of Inquisitors. Its members are associated with a very pure version of our faith. They are in charge of tracking down heresies and ungodly cults and accomplish their tasks with zeal. The discovery of this island and island magic is obviously a real challenge for them, which sometimes leads them to behave a little out of passion, as you have seen. You seem to know Father Petrus well. What can you tell me about him? Do I frighten you so much that you do not dare question me directly, my child? Come on, Petrus. Our young legate probably wants an outside opinion on the person accompanying him. In response to your questions, Your Excellency, Petrus belongs to the Order of the Missionaries. He spent many years in different countries bringing the light. He is a shrewd diplomat and a devious politician. But I am sure you will appreciate his services. I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. What can I do for you, my child? What was your role at my uncle's court? Were you already an ambassador? No. But I was part of the embassy. I had only just started my career as a diplomat back then. Teleme was hoping to convert the congregation, and they had sent me to spread the word. I tried to teach you some of the basics because you had a predisposition for magic. But you were so young. You preferred to run around the halls with a wooden sword in hand, chasing your cousin. I'll see you later, Father. Take care, my child. Cousin! You have returned to me. Your absence was sorely felt. We don't appear to be in top form. A house intrigue's keeping you from finding proper sleep. No. Nothing to bring me nightmares as of yet. I'm blaming it on the change of diet. Now, tell me what adventures you've been up to. If you only knew how bored I grow behind these walls. I would like, if you would allow me the honor, to introduce Bishop Petrus, emissary of Teleme. Your Highness, may the light warm you in its holy embrace. Enchanted to meet you, my father. I've come here to present respects from Teleme and best wishes from the Mother Cardinal. She has my most sincere thanks. But before speaking further, I would like to discuss matters with my cousin, if you would be so kind. I've been to the neighboring cities, as you asked of me. Tell me, then. Was your journey adventurous? Well, I was able to gain audience with the governors, give them your regards, and glean some information. I would not have allowed anything bad to happen to him, Your Highness. Oh, it's just us here, Kurt. Why not continue to call me by my given name? Carry on with your story, cousin. I'm impatient to know what secrets our illustrious neighbors have discovered. The Bridge Alliance believes that a remedy could possibly be found by studying the local flora. They are quite motivated, but their research expedition has gone missing and there is no sign of life. And since they themselves are under constant attack, they cannot spare a rescue party to investigate. The Mother Cardinal, in her opinion, believes the Malachor to be a result of a curse. A curse cast by a demon. An evil creature worshipped by a cult of island natives. If you would allow me to second the request of our Mother Cardinal, we are in dire need of your help. Our Inquisitors are hardly diplomats and... But I should let you finish, my son. They have started their investigations in a village where strange events have been taking place. But they're unable to get to the bottom of it. The population keeps its secrets. And Teleme hopes that we might help them learn more about the cult. This is all extremely interesting. You have lived up to my expectations, as always. That said, we find ourselves between the rock and the hard place. The bridge is already in open conflict with the island natives. Teleme and their inquisitors... <sighs> We're going to have to tread on eggshells, but let's follow all the clues to their mysteries. 
We need to help them continue their investigations. Perhaps one will lead us to something useful. I don't have a lot of men, as well you know, and since I only trust you among them, take Kurt and any others that seem useful. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. If you would allow me, Your Highness, I would be honored to assist your cousin on his investigation. Very well, then. You could start by indicating the precise location of your nasty village. Of course, Your Highness. I should have thought of that sooner. Allow me to mark the location on your map, my son. Thank you. Have no fear, Constantine. I will take care of all matters at hand. Anything else? I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Constantine. Look out for yourself.